Hey guys, what's up? Long time no see. Today is Saturday, and if you guys watched my video yesterday, then this is literally just the next morning. So, I plan on getting up early to do simulations today, so I was gonna do a study with me simulation review style for a whole unit, because I just wrapped up F4. Yeah, F4. But my alarm didn't go off at all, so I didn't, let me back up. Apparently I didn't set any alarms <laughs> because I checked and there was nothing set. So I did not wake up until 10 today when I had an alarm set for 7.30 to get up and start studying by 8. That's just a sign that I needed sleep. Like the Lord literally did not even remind me to set an alarm because he knew I needed some sleep. So I'll appreciate it, make the best of it. It is now 11 a.m. exactly on the dot. So I'm gonna go ahead and start studying these simulations for unit four. While this is starting up, let's go make my coffee. Alrighty, I got this heifer mug with little udders. It's so cute, little rubber paddings. My sister got this for me last week. Yes, I am still in the Christmas spirit with my peppermint mocha. It is the absolute best. Also, yeah, I've definitely got a thing for heifers if you can't tell. <laughs> All right, so here's my dashboard, my home screen or whatnot. We are looking for these simulations, which are gonna suck because they're gonna be on consolidations. So there's two of them, 50 to 100 minutes. Those usually mean they don't take as long. So yeah, let's do this. Hey guys, I made it through the first batch of simulations for FAR 4. Um, it took me exactly an hour and eight minutes. So 68 minutes, so that's less than, I don't know, 69 minutes. I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. So yeah, 109 minutes there, and then this is the last simulation. So let's see what I scored. I have not looked at all. 82, hallelujah, hallelujah. That is really good for me, guys, very, very good. So I'm not gonna go through each one because I don't think I'm allowed to show you guys all of this, but I got that right, that right. Oh, girl, oh, I is on fire. I slipped up a little bit, tripped up on the sidewalk. Oh my word. Okay, well I understand this. So that's a surprise. That one took me forever too. Oh, this one's for the most part good. I'll take it. Oh, this one needed a third journal entry. Oh my God, y'all did a journal entry with just one side. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's obviously incorrect. How <laughs> didn't even put an account. Oh man. Okay, this one's hit and miss. Let's see this one. Uh, about 50%. Definitely gonna need brush up on that. Um, ooh, not doing so good on that one. And F me. <laughs> Just kidding. Wow, okay, I don't know how that was 82, really. All right, so now I'm going to go through this simulation again and figure out why I missed the ones that I missed and hopefully teach myself and get a better understanding of why I missed the ones that I screwed up on, a little slip up here and there. And then I may take a break for the day because my brain is dead. It's like pick stuff out of your brain cells and like takes them out and then plops them in the trash. And you never get it back again. <laughs> That's, that's my picturing of it. I just spent about 20 or so minutes going through looking at everything that I missed. So yes, I am done with the first simulation. So I'm gonna take a little, um, what are they called? Practice tests is what Becker calls them now, but they used to be called progress tests. And they let you now, I'll show you guys. All right, hopefully you guys can see that. So I'm in F4 and down here at the bottom you can click, oh, it still is called a progress test. I thought they, oh, they did switch it. <laughs> LOL, they're trying to pull my leg. I think on the main page here, you go down here. So here's the simulated exams, which are mock exams. They've changed the name on some of these. Unlimited practice tests, I'm gonna do this. It lets you choose which units you want to do. You also get to pick MCQs up here and simulations. I'm not gonna do any simulations um, just because I'm spending the whole day actually doing the simulations. So I don't really, I'm not really in the mood to do a bunch of extra. So we'll do like a quiz. We'll do two 20 question quizzes. That way they don't take forever. I don't think you can put zero there. Okay, so no simulations and 20 questions, F1 through F4. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, that was so ridiculous. I'm pretty sure I scored like a 50. Let's see. <laughs> Y'all, I scored a 60. That's pretty bad. And so, I'm going to need to review the ones I got wrong. <laughs> that was so ridiculous. I'm like angry at it. Like, it should not be that hard. They chose the hardest questions to put in that little progress test. Better preparing me for the exam, I guess. So, I'm going to review these real quick and then take a little break and then start the second set of simulations. <laughs> I'm losing my willpower for the day. I just took a really long break. It is now 4 o'clock. So, I'm going to go ahead and knock out this last simulation two of two and let's see how i do <laughs> so i just finished the second simulation and it was freaking horrible like i hate simulations so much they're literally a nightmare they take so much brain power and then you spend all the time doing it like i just spent an hour doing this one and i haven't hit exit yet but i don't think i got a single thing right like nothing adds up even my journal entries don't balance <laughs> i just gave up and went on to the next one i was like nothing is working out for me but we'll see how i did regardless <laughs> Is such a mess. And this giant one that I just did is literally a huge consolidation problem, but in IFERS. Like, I don't even know it in GAP, let alone IFERS. Okay, 68. I mean, that's much better than I initially thought, to be honest. This one luckily had drop down menu, so I didn't have to type in numbers. That one wasn't too bad. This one, oh, cool. <laughs> I freaking hate IFERS, y'all. I do not understand it. I'm only studying GAP and like I first is half the exam. Well, that one's horrible. This one's pretty good. Let's say what, like 80% on that one? Dang, I did better than I thought. And this one was a freaking, that's the one I gave up on, nothing balanced. Yeah, the last one there. So discouraging, like I need to just ignore the fact that I suck so bad and just move on to the next one. But it's just hard when you know you get something wrong and you have to hit submit when you know it's not right. It just eats me alive. But anywho, so that's the second simulation. The very last thing I'm going to do before I move on to the next unit tomorrow is do another progress test, another 20, qu 20 question progress test. So I'm going to do it real quick. Yo, I'm still in the same clothes, same pajamas that I wore last night. It is 5 p.m. This is literally an all-day study day. That's what it takes if you're trying to get your CPA. You gotta fully dedicate and do nothing else. All sacrifices. It sucks so bad. It's absolutely miserable. Wouldn't recommend it, but at the same time, would recommend it. Anyways, I'm gonna do a progress test really quick, and then we'll wrap things up. This is the longest study with me day ever, but I just finished this progress test. I don't know if you guys care to see my results. This one I feel like went okay. Heck yeah, bruh! Look at that, 85. I usually have a pretty good sense about how I did and that was a good example. So I feel like I did okay and I did. So I forgot to look over the simulation, the ones I got wrong. I'm just so over that second sim, it pissed me off to no end. But I am gonna go over the answers a little later today. I'm gonna take a break. Um, I'm also gonna go over the answers of that progress test I just took and see why I missed everything that I missed. Other than that, that is how I review a unit. Now, back when I studied audit and reg, I, at the end of each unit that I would study, I would go back through and do all of the MCQs for every single module before moving on to the next unit. So I would redo every single multiple choice question. Um, and then I would pick like a sim here and a sim there to redo before moving on to the next unit. With FAR and with BEC, which I just took, I am not doing that just because it's going to take forever and it's going to prolong. That would probably take me two or three days just to do all those MCQs with FAR with this unit because there's hundreds of questions, like literally hundreds. There's so much more in FAR. So that's not practical for me to do, just being smart with my time. I'm really going to spend a lot of time when I'm done with the material of reviewing very intensely, very in-depth review. The way I'm looking at it with FAR specifically is I'm going to go through all the material, obviously, but then when I start reviewing, that's kind of my real study sesh. Whereas some people study all of FAR in like a month and then they're ready to take the exam. And that kind of makes sense because they just studied it. For me, it's going to be months ago. I'm going to be sitting here taking this exam probably in July and be like, I haven't seen this material since April. And that's not going to cut it. I'm not going to remember how to do anything. So I'm really focusing a lot of my energy on the review process. I'm going to take at least a month to review for the exam before I take the exam. I do not have it scheduled yet. I do not recommend anyone schedule their exam until they are fully through the material. Although most people suggest you go ahead and schedule it. 
I think that's more of if you're not very disciplined on studying, then you should schedule it so it forces you to study because your exam's coming up. Whereas if you're more self-driven and you know you're gonna study, you just don't know how long it's gonna take, then I don't think you should schedule an exam. But that's a whole other, that's my opinion, my thought process for my experience. But anyways, that is all with study with me today. I cannot wait to get out of these clothes and go outside and see the sunlight. I have literally been, it is pouring rain. Okay, it's a rainy day out there, but I have been sitting here studying all day with little breaks here and there, but that is how I study and review for a unit. So, so thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully this helped you with your study process and I will see y'all next time. Goodbye.